Hey guys, so today's going to be a really quick tutorial. I'm just going to show you how I was able to achieve these crochet braid Havana twist type of situation. And <laughs> um, I am going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do it on one. And the reason why I'm doing this video because there are a ton of videos um, that are so helpful because that helped me with my installation. But um, I was not prepared to do my hair and I bought the hair at like 9 o'clock at night. The store closed at 10 and I had all this Marley hair and no latch hook. So I did some research. There was one video, I will leave her link below, where she used a hairpin to um, install her hair. And so I took that and did a little switch up to it. And I have found a way that I found to be a little bit easier and hopefully it'll be helpful to you. So if you are in the same situation that I was in, you just bought your hair, you think you're gonna go out and have fun, and now you're stuck because you don't have a latch hook, this video is for you. So uh, stay tuned if you wanna see that. And All right yeah. guys, so as you know, my camera does not autofocus. So welcome to the top of my head. And I am not the best braider, so when you braid your hair, it'll probably be tighter. I've had this in for about a week and a half, two weeks and um, some of the hair is coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and install one here just for the purpose of this tutorial. And what you're gonna need is, is our two hairpins, one of the harder ones and a soft one. There's technical names for these. I'm not a professional, so I don't know. Bobby pin, whatever. Bobby pin a hairpin, probably what it is. Um, so I've already separated this one. You just pull it apart. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fish it through the front here. And there we go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. And then I just take this cluster of Marley hair. You can separate this into half if you want to. It is a little bit messier to do that, but I feel like you can get better coverage throughout your head if you do that. It's up to you. So I just take the hairpin and put the hair through it. So I hope you can see that. And it's just like uh, threading a needle. You know that little dime thing that comes with the needle and you can just thread your needle with that that's kind of what this is so I just pulled the hairpin through the bobby pin and now I'm going to take that out and there's a little loop there I'm going to take this hairpin and pull it through the supposed to be braid and if you can see here here's the hoop hoop whatever so <laughs> you get the point I just fold it over, pull the hair through, and then secure the knot to the supposed braid. And I pull it through like that just for a little bit more security. It is a little fuzzy. But All right, guys. So okay. I hope that clip was pretty helpful. If you have any questions or you need more help with that, just go ahead and leave a comment below, and I promise I'll get back to you soon. Um, you will notice there is a difference in texture within the hair that I just installed and the previous hair I installed about two weeks ago. And my sister um, advised me to twist the hair and boil it so that it would tame the hair. And it did so. I'll insert a clip of how it looked when I first installed it. It was a hot mess. And <laughs> after twisting it, it calmed down really nicely and it had a really nice texture. Again, this is about two weeks old, so I'm still going to rock it, but it may be time to take it out soon. Um, yeah, I'll insert a clip of all that stuff. And I used about three and a half packs of hair and the braid pattern that I used, uh, being advised by another YouTuber was to braid it straight back and the back three I braided to the side. And if you have long hair, I would not suggest that only because it becomes a little bulky back there. So when I do reinstall it. I'll come back and update you guys on that. And I don't know if anything else that you guys may want to know. So leave it all below and I promise I'll get back to you soon. And thanks for watching guys. And if you liked this video or you found it helpful, please feel free to thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.